Hey guys, Jacob here. So, as you may remember, back in December, I made this puzzle, which is one of the only proportional 7x7s to ever be made. Um, I went over how it works and how it has its, uh, its uh, bending corner mechanism and the squircle cut. I mentioned briefly in that video that I designed an 8x8 with that same concept, but since then, I never really elaborated on it or said anything about it since, so uh, I finally got around to making it recently, and I'm going to show it in this video. So, first of all, a quick refresher on why big cubes have thick outer layers. It's so that the corners can have room for a physical stalk that holds them in. Because if not, then the corner completely overhangs and there's <clears throat> and you can't uh, attach it using conventional methods. So with that said, here is the 8x8 that I was talking about. Um, it is quite bulky. Um, here it is next to the 7x7. It has the same size pieces. This one's 70 millimeters, so this one is 80 millimeters. And it's also pretty, pretty heavy. Here it is next to the Dianxing 8x8, which is 68 millimeters. So you can see just how much of a size difference there is. Now, um, now to demonstrate the turning. So, unfortunately, this cube does not turn as well as I thought it would. Um, Inner layers are not that much of a problem, but the outer layer is where you run into the biggest problem. If you flick it, it sometimes works. There we go. You can see I'm having a lot of trouble because it keeps catching. Yeah, it's like half the time and the outer layer doesn't even want to turn. And I think I know why this is happening. This has a one shell uh, mechanism, which means there isn't a second and third um, core layer holding the pieces in, which means the puzzle itself is as tight as it can be, but it's very unstable around the corners and I think that's what leads to a lot of the catching um, the pieces near the corners especially get jammed up really easily so I'm gonna put it in the checkerboard pattern real quick just to show that's fully functional jeez oh, yeah as you can see, this one is a huge pain to turn. Um, man, it's like, keeps getting, see, the pieces keep getting jammed up near the corners. And that's very, very annoying. So, Despite its poor turning quality, I still wanted to make this because, um, there, the yellow layer turned a lot better for some reason. But anyway, I wanted to make this still, um, just to have it, because, I mean, it may not work that great, but, I mean, look at this thing. This is the world's first proportional 8x8. And I also have plans to make a proportional 9x9. It might be a while, though, before that's done, but I do plan on making it. 9x9 uh, nine nine is the biggest proportional cube you can make using this me mechanism. The reason for that is a 10x10, 10 10, if you have it proportional, the edges next to the corner also overhangs. Now, you could, in theory, make that... Uh, flexible as well but with the the reason I don't want to do that is because with the way it is with the corners 
it's unstable enough as it is with the corners. If I make too many pieces flimsy like that or flexible, um, you you lose a lot of crucial stability to the point where the puzzle won't even work. Uh, not to mention it'd be extremely difficult to implement geometrically. So uh, for that reason, I say nine by nine is the limit for this concept. So here it is in the checkerboard pattern. Um, it's very, uh, uh, as you can see, it looks a lot smoother and cleaner than the seven by seven. The reason is because the 7x7 was printed with my old printer, but the 8x8 was printed with the Prusas, which has much better print quality. So, uh, last thing I'm going to do is show screenshots of the mechanism. So, over to the computer. Um, this is what the uh, inside structure of the 8x8 looks like. Um, as you can see, it has the same uh, squircle cut. And up here, you can see there's a much bigger gap between the centers and the edges. I think that might be contributing to some of the instability. Here's the top view. Now, with this puzzle, the squircle is a lot more drastic than the seven by seven. By that, I mean it's closer to a square than this one was. Um, and for that reason, the bend of the corner is a lot more drastic than the 7x7. Seven seven. And I think that also might be contributing to the puzzle's uh, poor turning quality. So, this puzzle, the mechanism is based off of the Yushin Huanglong 8x8. Uh, but as you can see, the instability near the corners kind of kind of soured all of that but here's the outer layer um as you can see it has the protruding corner stalks just like the seven by seven and uh they get pressed inwards whenever it glides over the squircle so yeah the corners corners also have an elastic string in them that's under tension so it really is the exact same concept as the seven by seven just one more layer and another thing to note is when you do this, the notice this edge right here is really thin. Thankfully, uh, they didn't really have a problem printing properly. But what I can do uh, with the 9x9 especially is print it with a smaller nozzle. That way I can get better detail and therefore higher print quality. And... I have an idea of how to improve this one's turning. Um, I think I'm just going to add a second um, shell down deeper into the puzzle to anchor the corners. Uh, so this one has one shell holding all the pieces. What I'm thinking about doing instead is having a top shell for <clears throat> the outer centers or for these pieces. And then the second shell is going to hold in the second layer pieces so that they don't wiggle around as much. And then there's going to be a third shell holding the corners and uh, internal midges in place. So, and that's also what I'm going to do for the 9x9 mechanism because I'm actually still designing it. And... When designing the mechanism for it, I already knew about the problems with this one, so I wanted to go ahead and fix it there as well. So, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about this cube. Um, the turning quality is not very good, but I have a plan for how to improve it. And before I end the video, I'm going to take it out of the checkerboard pattern just to do some more turning on camera. And the outer layers are very hit or miss on whether they work or not. As you can see, the um, it, they do get stuck quite a bit, but sometimes it'll be nice and, uh, and it'll go over smoothly without you having to fight with it. Now, the inner layers, 
I'd say the inner layers are the best as far as turning quality, and the outer layers are by far the worst. Um, but this is uh, just a proof of concept for now. Um, I wanted to prove that uh, cubes bigger than 6x6 six six can be made proportional if you're creative enough. So with that said, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.